Hey Blade Ops, today we are doing a Benchmade fixed blade review. It is camera focus now. The 158 SBK Combat Survival Knife 2 or CSK2. Uh, this knife's been around for a while. Uh, we just got it in, that happens often. There are thousands of knives out there, uh, tens of thousands, and we are expanding our inventory always. And just got this knife in, really like it. Wanted to do a quick little demo and get your opinions down below, comment, etc. So this knife runs at about $89 with the free shipping, everything included. You'll notice it has the thick leather sheath, Benchmade logo embossed there on the back, stamped on the back. It has the leather straps down at the bottom for your leg. Up top, you can also run it through your belt. Belt loop. It also is Molly compatible, which I thought was interesting for a leather sheath, but makes a lot of sense. Comes with a piece there that you can run down the back and make it Molly compatible. Very cool. And bust out the knife here. You can run it vertical. It's got plenty of retention. It's also got the strap. Uh, that's a common question. Can I carry this knife vertical? Here's the blade. It's a nice, good sized. Um, survival knife, they call it combat, combat or survival knife. It is the 1095 carbon steel. Zoom in there, if I can. 1095 carbon steel, Benchmade logo, of course, made in the US. And six inch blade. I think they're calling this the modified clip point. You can see it tapers down there right at the tip. Nice thick blade. And they have some technical term for this rubber handle. Um, it's it's a nice uh, change. A lot of these 1095 carbon steel blades, survival blades, have the micarta or G10 handles. Um, the rubber doesn't come around as much, but it, it is a nice grip. You have the brass insert there for a lanyard hole. And not, not super heavy at 7.5 ounces for a blade this big. That's probably what you'd expect. This is the classic look um, with a really functional handle in my opinion. Um, and I think this could be used for combat. The 1095 carbon steel, of course, um, is a little bit easier to sharpen out in the field um, if you're deployed or whatnot. Um, this is about the same size if I'm comparing to another knife as an SE6. Um, as far as blade length, it might not be as heavy. Um, it also has a little bit different handles, but you're also looking at $40 less. Um, so that's one thing to consider. Um, it has a leather sheath, which is unique. You don't always get that with a survival knife. A lot of people want to go Kydex, uh, injection molded. That's just personal preference depending on how you're going to use it or what not functionality. Um, and last but not least, when you're buying a Benchmade, you're getting the LifeSharp program, which is great. Uh, I'll try and annotate that video that I did about the LifeSharp program in the past. But uh, overall, let me know what you think about the Combat Survival Knife 2. I'm sure you've seen tons of reviews on it or seen it before in the past, but I'd like to know your opinions on it. Comment down below, be sure to subscribe, and uh, check it out, Blade Ops.